Running a marathon is no small feat, but running a marathon without proper training, just after recovering from an injury? Now, that's an entirely different story. Today I'm taking you through my journey of running the Nice Can Marathon, unprepared, undertrained and slightly terrified. So here we are at the starting line of the Nice to Can Marathon. Normally I feel very confident to start a race. Today I'm feeling scared and I'm wondering what am I doing here? After the injury, not running for two months, this is the scariest thing I ever had to do. Wish me luck! For those who don't know, the Nice Can Marathon is one of the most stunning road races in France. The course takes us from the historic Promenade des Anglais in Nice all the way along the Mediterranean coast to Cannes. It's an incredible route, but today I'm more focused on just getting to that finish line. A few months ago I was deep in training for the 100k Nice by UTMB race, one of my biggest challenges yet, but then disaster struck. I suffered an injury that left me sidelined and forced me to cancel my plans. It was a huge blow, both physically and mentally. It took weeks of recovery, patience and a lot of doubts. Injuries can take away more than just your fitness. They test your resilience and patience in ways that go beyond the physical. And now I'm here at the start line with no training under my belt. Am I ready for this? No. But am I doing it anyway? Absolutely. After the Prom Classic 10K in January, the Nice half marathon in April, we are back on the Promenade des Anglais for the marathon this time. The difference is that I'm not prepared for this marathon. I'm scared and I don't know if I'm going to finish. Bravo. Bravo. This race is not about pace, it's not about personal best, it's about doing something that physically I'm not prepared for and uh, arriving at the finish line against all odds. With barely any recent training, my goal isn't to set any records, it's simply to keep going to test my mental endurance and, hopefully, cross that finish line without injuring myself again. k in so far i feel good but i'm running purely on adrenaline and the positive energy that surrounds me i know that the hard part will be coming up where i really have to dig deep to arrive at at the finish line The first few kilometers feel great, honestly. Adrenaline is high and there's just this electric energy from the crowd. The first stretch here in Nice is flat and fast right along the coastline. You get to enjoy the blue sea, the morning breeze. It almost makes you forget you've got a marathon to run.
otra voz. Otra voz. Twenty k's in, and yeah, it's starting to to hurt now. The lack of training really shows, and uh, my legs are starting to feel heavy, and uh, my pace has slowed down. I still have half a marathon to go, so from here on. It's all mental. Come on. I'm not giving up. This is where the mental battle truly begins. When your body starts to feel like it's giving up, you've got to find something deeper to keep going. And for me, that's the frustration of missing my last race and all the effort it took to even get me here today. The most incredible parts of this marathon is the support. People I don't even know are shouting encouragement, offering high fives and giving out water. It's this little boost that keeps me going when I start to question if I can actually make it. Without the people cheering us on, I couldn't do this. Oh, it's hot. I shouldn't have stopped. Now I have to start again and it hurts. We have another hill. I'm counting every step. And I I have to pee and I'm debating in my head if I should just pee myself or just stop on the road. I don't know what to do. Twenty-seven K. I'm really suffering now. I cannot stop. It hurts, but I cannot stop. I need this.
the course from Nice to Cannes isn't just beautiful, it's challenging. There are gentle but long climbs and stretches that feel endless, but each landmark I pass is like a mini victory. All this pain is worth it, just for the views. It's all about mental strength at this point. My legs are done and the lack of training is just screaming at me with every step. But giving up it's not an option. Right now it's about focusing on each little step forward. I've been trying to speak to the camera for the past five minutes and every time I turn it on I get emotional. Legs are done. Everything hurts. I still have seven kilometers to go. I'm not stopping. Only a few kilometers left. My legs feel like they are about to give up, but I'm so close now. I keep reminding myself to focus on one step, one breath, one heartbeat at a time. I didn't come this far to stop now. They don't know how much I needed that. kilometer that passes by. <laughs> it's harder and harder. This was one of the hardest things I ever done, but crossing that finish line is just indescribable. This race wasn't just a marathon, 
It was a reminder of what it means to persevere, to keep going, even when you're not fully ready. So, what did I learn? Running a marathon without training and right after an injury might not be the best idea. In fact, I don't recommend it. But this experience showed me just how far you can push yourself even when things feel impossible. It's not just about physical preparation, it's about resilience, patience and maybe just a little bit of crazy determination. Thank you for following along on this journey. If you're thinking about running a marathon, I highly recommend training properly and taking care of your body. If you ever find yourself facing a setback, remember, sometimes the biggest challenges bring out the best in us.